Hello everybody, and today I'm doing my review on the Mo Yu Wei Long version 2. I have the black one here, this is your standard 57mm 3x3. They also have one in a 54.5mm edition. So the turning on this puzzle is second to none for speed. It's the fastest cube on the market, by far. I've never felt anything faster than a Wei Long. The speed is just amazing. It, which causes a problem for some people because they can overshoot and it may be a little bit too fast but I haven't had too many issues with that it's very fast algorithms flow very smooth I have it on pretty tight tensions so I never get corner twists or pops and with the tighter tensions I still don't get lockups with the tight tensions that I have it on corner cutting isn't quite as good as its full potential but it's still pretty nice. I haven't had any problems with locking up, so I haven't felt the need to loosen the tensions at all. And it cuts reverse very well, almost as well as it does regular, and it does the regular corner cutting at 45 degrees with no effort at all. As you can see on this puzzle, the shades of the stickers are very nice. I have no problem recognizing with them. I've never actually changed the stickers on a Mo Yu or YJ puzzle because they last a long time. I have here a way long version one and just this orange side is peeling a little bit and still all the shades. This has over a thousand solids on it probably and the stickers hold up forever pretty much. As you can see, they didn't really change too much between the two puzzles. There's a bit more hair on the core of my first way long, but that's besides the point. The biggest thing that they changed on this puzzle is how the corner pieces assemble. The f first way long, which we have here, just splits in half, kind of. And then over here, you can see it's got a very interesting three-part mechanism with a little bit of a different thing than we're used to seeing on most cubes. And that allows for them to make stickerless additions, which you can get and look pretty nice. And not very long after Moyu cubes started coming out, they switched from this regular orange to this bright orange, which I like a lot. You can get this cube at cubesezy.com. That is the cheapest and best place to get it. Shipping from China is faster than anywhere else. It takes just over a week to get to me from China, which is pretty amazing. And so, yes, I would recommend getting it from them. That's where I got mine, and I think you should get yours there as well. In final conclusion, I do recommend this cube to most people. It may not be for your entry-level speed cuber because I would think that you might have a hard time controlling it, but as for people that have a little bit of practice, it doesn't take that much getting used to. I got a 11.74 second average of 5 on this cube on my first day of using it, and that is really good for me. Not my personal best, but still pretty good. So I'm obviously very happy with this cube, and I think that after maybe like 10 or 15 solves, you're used to the speed, and most people will, won't have trouble with the fastness of this cube. That is all I have to say about the Way Long version 2. I will be getting the smaller size soon, and so you can expect to see a review on that. You can again check out cubesezy.com. Down in the description, I'll also link to a place where you can buy the smaller edition, because I know a lot of people, including myself, like the smaller edition of Zanchi's, and so I'm assuming I will like the smaller edition of this. That's all my time for today. Thank you so very much for watching, and goodbye.